Welcome back to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. This week we are going to be taking a look at using SOLIDWORKS Motion to help size some of the elements of our design. In this example, we've got this car jack here, which has been mated together to perform like it would in real life, right? We've got a bunch of hinge mates throughout here. We've got a screw mate on the screw rod here to help uh, simulate the real world mechanism that we have here. And we're gonna use SOLIDWORKS Motion to help size the uh, motor we would need to drive this assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and come into our motion study tab here and make sure we have motion analysis picked on from the little drop down here. We are going to add a motor to our screw rod here. We're gonna make sure it's going the correct direction. And we're just gonna leave a constant speed of 100 RPM. For our boundary conditions for our force, we're gonna go ahead and apply the weight of the car right on this edge right in here, oriented uh, straight down. I'm gonna make sure we have the correct direction and that's going to be 9,000 Newtons. Now the last boundary condition we need is gravity because we are going to be lifting this car up against gravity. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on gravity in the Y direction, make sure our gravity down here. And now all we need to do is go ahead and hit calculate and it will spin our screw rod at 100 RPM to activate the jack and lift the car. Now in this example the only thing I'm worried about is sizing the motor. So I'm going to come into my results and plots. I'm going to pick a category. Momentum, energy, power. We're going to go with power consumption and I'm going to grab my motor right out here and hit OK. And we can see that I need 77 watts of power to size this motor, to drive this problem. And I can see as my arms start to gain mechanical advantage, I need less and less power. We can see it drops down to 52 watts. If I wanted to do the same thing for motor torque, if I needed to know how strong my motor is going to be, I can do the same thing. I can do forces, grab motor torque, magnitude, I will grab my motor, and that one gives me about 7,330 newton millimeters of torque. And again, just like the power consumption, we'll start dropping under 5,000 newton millimeters as we start to gain mechanical advantage. Now, this software is great. SolidWorks Motion does a really good job of helping to eliminate some of the prototyping or buying some of maybe the stock components like motors, actuators, things like that. It is a really, really powerful tool that I hope you guys start using in your design process. That's it for this week. I will see you guys next time for another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip.